Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Uh, we talked about it, I think, yesterday. We'd go ahead and open up another one of these packs, and I'm going to go over here to the box and get a couple more packs of the 1991 Pro Set. So we'll get into that 2016 Torque Hobby Pack in just a second. want to make sure that you guys have enough material to consume. Plus, I like going down these older packs and kind of taking a trip down in the past and never really looked at these packs in depth. 12 photo cards and uh, 12 photo and stat cards plus one pro set instant win game piece, which, you know, whatever. Front there you got Rick Mast in the one car and Rusty Wallace in the two car. Of course, those are blurred out because it's a Skull and Miller Genuine Draft sponsorship. Not really anything exciting there on the backs. There's not really any odds. <clears throat> the only inserts are the Legends inserts. And I can't remember if it was 91 or 92 that had the Winston Cup hologram card. But we're going to start off. We mentioned Rick Master. You see they didn't blur the skull out of the uniform or the hat. Drove for Richard Jackson for a few years. Rex White. I think he still does TTMs. May have to send off to him. Gary Nelson. Crew chief for Kyle Petty there in 1991. 1992, he was hired by NASCAR to be the, uh, their uh, lead inspector. And uh, the joke going around the garage area was uh, when NASCAR hired Gary Nelson, they took about 80% of the cheating out of the garage. <clears throat> There's longtime independent driver Dave Marcus. Got his last career win at Richmond in 1982. Jimmy Means. Uh, driver... Uh, the Alka-Seltzer Pontiac at that time, that was one of the more popular driver-sponsor combinations. Here's Mark Martin. It's definitely at Martinsville. You got Mark Martin, Harry Gant there. Can't see who that is behind Harry. Looks like Dale Earnhardt. Kyle Petty, Ernie Irvin, and then can't tell the rest of the pack there. Chad Little drove their family-owned Bullseye Barbecue Sauce T-Birds back then. Bobby Allison, this picture was taken in 1982, the only year he drove the Gatorade 88 Die Guard car. We've seen this one before, DW. That would look really good signed right there. May have to send that one off. Richard Petty with his famous cigar. Jeffrey Bodine, or Jeff Bodine, he was known as at that time, driving for Junior Johnson. And there is the R.J. Reynolds Winston Cup Series show car. So that's our first pack of 1991 Pro Set. We'll go to pack number two, which has a little bit of damage here. Hopefully the cards are in good shape. <clears throat> Pick this box up one of our flea market runs last year. I can't remember exactly if it was when we went to Tennessee or Kentucky or Ohio or wherever we went, but picked it up. Junior Johnson. He was in the first Hall of Fame class for the NASCAR Hall of Fame. There's Rex White. We've seen him in the last pack. Vinny Parsons, 1973 champion, 1975 Daytona 500 winner, 21 career victories overall. Of course, he is in the Hall of Fame. Not only for his racing, but for his broadcasting as well. Dave Marcus, we had Dave in the last pack. There's Richard Jackson. Richard is the brother of Leo Jackson. They were uh, owned the uh, Skull Bandit car and the Skull Classic car. There's Leo Jackson, or Leonard Jackson, is in, is in this photo. Uh, he owned the 33 car that Harry drove for a long time. There's Rusty. Of course, he drove the Miller Genuine Draft Pontiacs for many, many years. There is a journeyman driver, Eddie Beerswell. They, he started in 1983 driving a family-owned number 03 B&B racing uh, Chevrolet, I believe it was. He bounced around 1985. He was runner-up Rookie of the Year to Ken Schrader, driving for D.K. Ulrich. He drove for other teams like Roger Hamby and Elmo Langley. Kind of went back to his own team in 88. Had some decent runs in 88 and 89. They just never had the sponsorship. I believe he won an ARCA race in Texas in 1991. But his family does run a mortuary and funeral home in the San Antonio area. So I did a TTM of him last year. May have to do another one. <clears throat> Hoss Ellington, who's more famous for his uh, number one car that Donnie Allison crashed out on the last lap with, with Cale Yarborough. Here's Jimmy Spencer's 98 car, owned by Travis Carter. Jimmy had four 
consecutive top 10 finishes at the, near the beginning of 1991. We've talked about that a time or two. T. Wade and Robertson was very instrumental in the Winston sponsorship, staying with NASCAR for a while and also creating the All-Star Race. And Miss Winston, Renee White. So, wow, we didn't have a lot of... We had a lot of legends and a lot of owners in that pack. I mean, I'm not complaining. I thought that was a pretty cool pack. It's a lot, it's a lot better than getting four or five of the same driver in the pack. But now we're going to go to the uh, what y'all came to see here, the Hobby Pack of 2016 Panini Torque, Dale Jr. on the cover of the wrapper. Let's get you guys a peek of the print runs here and all the other information. I'm excited. This is a thick pack, so I think we're going to get another. I think we got the Terry Labonte autograph in the last one we got, so maybe we'll get a relic into this one. There is a super thick card there, so we'll shuffle that one to the back of the pack. And I do feel the relic on there, but we do start off with a Kevin Harvick, number 27 out of 125, base card there, blue foil, torque, very nice looking card. Then up next is David Gilland, father of Todd Gilland, son of Butch Gilland, racing family. <clears throat> there is the Chase Elliott Torque rookie card. This is not his true rookie. Of course, his true rookie is in, what was that, 2012, 2011 Eclipse or some, something of that effect. But there it does say Cup Rookie Card, so definitely get that one sleeved up. I know that's a pretty sought-after card in this market. Casey Kane is next on our list here. They kind of have these going every which way. There's the card that we started the pack with, Brennan Poole, Rookie Card of him. So I'll flip that one to the back. It's a nice legend, David Pearson, passed away a few years ago. 105 career wins, second on the all-time list. Now we're starting to get into our inserts here. We have a nice Harry Gant, Race Kings. Really like that one. Up next is numbered 70 out of 199, Martin Truex Jr. What does that say? Victory Laps. So we were just eight off of the door number. That would have been pretty sweet to got a door number there. <clears throat> and we've, oh, we, got, so we have one or two. We have one more before we get to our relic. So we have a winning vision. Jimmy Johnson. Not numbered on the front. Not numbered on the back. I'm going to scan this really slowly again because I'm horrible at messing these. Make sure that there is no number. But winning vision Jimmy Johnson. So let's see who our relic is going to be of. i seen the name, but I didn't see the name. So it is Sheet Metal. Number five, so it's probably going to be... K oh, wow, it's an autograph relic of Casey Kane. Numbered 16 out of 50. That's, uh, wow, that's pretty cool. I will take that. At first, I thought it was, when I felt it on the back, I thought it was actually tire, just because it was, it's kind of cold in this room, so it felt more like a tire than it did sheet metal. But, uh, sheet metal signatures, Casey Kane. So that, uh, definitely was a nice card. Now, let me, let me look at my, uh... Yeah, because this was the other card. This was what we got in the last pack, so... Our, both of our autographs have been Hendrick car number five drivers. So that's a little bit ironic there. Again, Danny, it's that numbers thing that I talk about. But uh, both of our autographs have been drivers of car number five for Rick Hendrick. Someone get this one sleeved up. I have some thick card sleeves off to the side. I really like these because you don't have to, to force those in real tight. And I'm going to put that in a top loader. Seeing the Jimmy Johnson one, we'll get this chase sleeved up as well. Got some top loaders off on this side, or some soft sleeves, and we'll get that top loaded as well. Of course, that Harry Gant, of course, y'all know Harry's my favorite of all time. Got that Kevin Harvick and Orton Truex Jr. and some other nice cards as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. 
<clears throat> as always, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, you know, leave a comment as always. Always appreciate comments, enjoy engaging with you guys and, and you know, just having good conversation about the race or about the cards or about diecast or whatever you want to talk about. We'll just talk about and have a good time. So anyway, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday and we will see you tomorrow.